wildest retirement village? Ten gals for every guy. The party scene every night. And you won't believe what this frisky granny was caught doing. Then, the armless mom and her son. Our toes are like fingers. Their brave struggle. Plus, last photo, the Chippendales reunion. It's showtime. Inside Edition in high definition will be right back. I started this war killing Germans in Africa. Now I'm killing Germans in Germany. Fire! They've been together for years. I won't fight with anybody else. On October 17th. These troops get by you. We're all dead in the water. All we got is you. The only thing that stands between them and the end of the war. It's five against 300. Is one impossible mission. We are on our own. October 17th. Attention homeowners. Quicken Loans has some very important information regarding the U.S. government's Home Affordable Refinance Program, or HARP. Nearly 3 million homeowners have already taken advantage of this fantastic money-saving program. But there are so many more of you who could be saving hundreds of dollars every month on your mortgage. Quicken Loans is here to help you save money. Why Quicken Loans? The home loan experts at Quicken Loans fully understand the HARP guidelines. We'll work with you to understand your specific circumstances and strive to find the financial solution that's best for you. Then we'll guide you through each step of the mortgage refinance process to make sure that it's both simple and easy. If you weren't HARP eligible in the past, new guidelines could mean that now you are. Give us a call and we'll give you a Quicken Loans mortgage review. It's simple and easy. To learn more about this money-saving U.S. government program, call Quicken Loans today or go to quickenloans.com for a mortgage experience that's engineered to amaze. At Raymore and Flanagan, we're committed to delivering more than just beautiful furniture. After delivery, we return all the packaging materials to our recycling center, diverting the Northeast landfills. In turn, cardboard becomes something like books or paper products. Plastic and styrofoam turn into things like toys and everyday useful items. Now that's truly beautiful. Raymore and Flanagan, helping take care of our little corner of the world. Rabbit bat attack caught on tape. Next in some addition, a camping trip goes horribly wrong. It's a bat! A bat attack, and it's got rabies. Now, the race to save his life. Watch the next in some addition. Check out the Chippendales as they celebrate their 35th anniversary. You've never seen a class photo like this. It's a reunion of Chippendale dancers going back 35 years. Just to save those old records on the shelf. We got exclusive access backstage, and the guys still look great. Hard to believe some of them are pushing 60. At 58, Michael Rapp is the oldest of the Chippendale alums. After the show, they cut the cake to celebrate the Chippendale's 35th birthday. I'm so sorry. She's back. Paula Dean returned to the spotlight with an appearance on The Today Show for the first time since her tearful interview last year when she was under fire for using the N-word. I didn't recognize that woman. That was a woman in trauma, in, I would say, shock. Time will tell if fans are willing to forgive. I'm so sorry. And talking about revealing, Miranda Lambert is showing off her bikini body after losing 45 pounds. The country superstar wore a zigzag print swimsuit on the beach in Hawaii. There was no sign of hubby Blake Shelton, a judge on The Voice. And it's the biggest retirement village in the world. More than 120,000 people live there. But this Florida community is less like Wrinkle City and a lot more like Party Town. Stephen Fabian takes you behind the scenes. Dancing the night away with live music and cheap beer. Yay! It's not what most of us would imagine retirement to look like, 
But in one Florida town, retirees are behaving more like college kids than old fogies. This is life at The Villages, a sprawling retirement community outside Orlando. Little slice of paradise. The commercials promise endless fun and sunshine, but they don't mention what sometimes happens when the sun goes down. People like to drink and have sex. Andrew Blackman spent a month at The Villages and wrote an eye-opening 